Wanna bet? Yes, Wanna? That meant yes. Yeah. Listen, Less you, threatening. You can do it at Sports Interaction. It's Canada Sportsbook. Football is in full swing. Baseball playoffs. Still going for not, not for the for day. No, Thank you, Jesse. The hockey season, which starts this week, is fabulous as well. We got a ton of props that we're going over with David Basil, but you can bet pregame, you can bet live and play, uh, or in one of the many prop bets, which we brought up before on the show, made for Canadians by Canadian Sports Interaction makes it easy for you to deposit, to play, and to cash out. Join now and see all that sports betting has to offer. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash STPN. That is sportsinteraction.com slash STPN. Thank you. Ontario only, 19 plus. Please play responsibly. The Sabres have signed a player with zero NHL goals to a seven-year, $30 million contract. That is banana sandwich. And 50, if you're wondering, just a hair under 4.3. 52 games total mm-hmm. in the NHL. Now, if you look at the card that Dom put out. What's uh, the player's name? The player's name is, oh, sorry, <laughs> Matias Samuelson. <laughs> now, if you're a Sabres fan, Sabres fans love this guy. They absolutely love this guy. And clearly, so does the organization. Because, um, you know, uh, they're signing him to this sort of a deal. This is a Nikita Zaitsev deal. And it doesn't mean that he's a Nikita Zaitsev player. I want you to be, I want to be clear, because Nikita Zaitsev at least had scored four goals before the Leafs signed him to a seven-year contract and run, and run a second power play. But there is upside on this deal. So first off, Samuelson played all the major five-on-five minutes last year and looked okay, but the Sabres suck. So it's difficult to get a read on all those numbers 52 games in. But I thought... He's a second-round pick from 2018. Like, he's not no one. No, no, no. Yeah. And I like Cam Sharon's take on it, if you don't mind me just sort of re- repeating this, because nice to have Cam back. He said the Samuelson deal is... Uh, fascinating. Buffalo envision having lots of money tied up in the top end in a few years, so they need to take some risks uh, that move the needle on cheaper contracts, and the way to do that is to pay players before they break out. And he compared it to the Oscar Clefbaum deal. He said he got nearly an identical deal as Samuelson, just signed uh, after 17 NHL games. Uh, despite how wow. frequently Clefbaum got hurt, he said, I'd argue the deal worked out for Edmonton. Clefbaum played pretty tough minutes, but um, he had a plus one relative course, if you want to get into that sort of thing. And he said Samuelson is at a minus 2% last year. So not a, he said that's a huge difference. Uh, but it really didn't change uh, after the Sabres in- injected Owen Power into the lineup. Uh, he said with Samuelson, because he's so raw and hasn't broke out, broken out yet, you really have to trust your development staff. There's probably some internal disagreement with the Sabres over this move. And he said, lastly, um, one positive is that this management staff didn't draft Samuelson. So they aren't really tethered to him. It's possible this is a move made with a clear objective in mind. It's also possible that they jumped the gun and made an emotional decision. And that's what, because I don't think anybody, <laughs> nobody knows the answer to this, right? No. I, I, Clefbaum is a good comparison and that was a good deal. Like people forget how good Clefbaum was. He was amazing. Was. Great player. He just, he just Injured. kept getting hurt. Um, is he, is he never playing again? He's never. It playing. doesn't look like it. Oh, I, he bummer. might, but it doesn't look like it. Um, Chris Johnston had a good uh, comparable in John Klingberg, mm-hmm. who signed a very similar deal um, at a very similar point in his career. At the time of Klingberg's contract, I think it's the best or one of the best comparisons here. He was midway, kind of midway, three quarters way through his first NHL season. So wow. he was only about 50 games in when he signed that. But he, he finished that season with 11 goals, 29 assists and 40 points. So he's more of a offensive defenseman, clearly, but um, yeah. mm-hmm. it's the same. It's the same strategy here, you know. Kling- Klingberg is, if this works out, and if it doesn't, it's Zaitsev. Sure, right, right. But, but at like, the end of the day, like I mean, Zaitsev is playing, and mm-hmm. also what's different about Zaitsev versus the Samuelson deal, and this is to the Sabers' credit, is that Zaitsev's deal ate up a lot more of the percentage of of uh, cap space than Samuelson's deal will. Mm-hmm on either the Sabres or another team yep. come two years from now. So that stuff was also 24 when yeah. he made his NHL Samuels debut. Like 22? He's 22 now. Yeah. So, the, yeah. so the thing is, is that like when, this, when the cup goes up another 10%, and it will in the next three years, cup. cap, cap. Mm. Mm. Foreshadowing Sabres fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, when the cup goes up another 10%, it's just going to matter that much less. Yeah. And yeah. then it's a steal. Also, and if he's great five on five, he's a second pair defenseman. Okay, great. Yeah. Then, That'll be second. And like the, the Zaitsev thing, he's, they're such different players too, I think. Oh, yeah. You know, and the age is a huge difference. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think contracts, sometimes I, contracts are too similar. Sometimes not necessarily I like to, comparing the players. Sometimes yeah. I like to start things and get a little under people's skin first before we break it down. And I know <laughs> it pisses people off, but it's sort of funny. Like you, <laughs> the guy has never scored a goal at the NHL level, and they just gave him thirty million bucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I know that's not his job, but also yeah. not even by accident. How many assists like, did he have? No butt goals. How many assists? Um, uh, forty. Steve 12? Guess twelve in his entire career. Yes, twelve. Oh. Well done, Steve. I, well, I read it in the car. But yeah, yeah. No, you're a car cheater. I, I check my phone before I I park it and I get out. There it is. Uh, 42 games last year, 10 assists, and then two assists the year before. Yeah, and it's not like they're hurting for the cap space either. They got it. They do. The Might thing well is, the thing is with the cap space though is it's amazing how quickly it disappears. Mm-hmm. And four million is not going to kill you, but it's a pain in the ass. Just ask the Leafs. This is also, um, I think, a sign that things are changing in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Because this is a definitely sketchy move. It's a sketchy move. And we're not collectively dunking on the Sabres. Okay. Because Kevin Adams has earned a little bit of leeway. Mm. Keep going. Keep going. I want to know what you think about that. Oh, I just think he's done well. I mean, what what is what is the what is the assumption? With any move the Sabres make, or what was it? Tearing it down. Prior to the Jack. Tearing it down. Game. Not just tearing it down, but they're going to do it shitty. <laughs> oh, yeah, they weren't good they at it. They locked this yeah, yeah. player up. Guess they're bad. Well, like, and the last one that they really signed to a big deal was Jeff Skinner. And that did and not that work out well. that deal stinks. Yeah, and the Ocposo deal before that, bad luck there with some injuries yes, and things like course. that. And now he's the captain, by the way. And now he's the captain. But yeah, if you look at the, the you know, the, the Eichel trade, obviously that's worked out really well with Alex Tuck. And then you've got yeah. the Ryan O'Reilly trade with Tage Thompson. But another risky deal mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. that point, Steve, is Tage Thompson. Tage Thompson, by the way, scored 65% of his career goals last year. Yeah. His career high in goals before last year was eight. Now yeah. he had, and then he had 38 and then they signed him to a contract. Which pays him about seven million bucks a year. Isn't that wild? Don Granado. Uh, yeah, the extension came down today, this morning. Oh, for the uh, for the coach. Yeah, Don Granado. Like it's kind of a nice time to be a Buffalo Sabres fan. Finally, finally, mm-hmm. for the first time since two thousand. And you know what? Eight. If you're a if you're a fan of uh, great hockey, then you should be a fan of Sabres hockey being good. Uh, the NHL is the you know the Sabers might be one of the smaller quote unquote market teams in the NHL, but they are one of the strongest markets, and it's such a shame that a lot like with the Leafs for 15 years, that one of hockey's best markets got fed just a dog shit team year after year. Because honestly, when when Buffalo is like you, uh, we we were the Hoshik era, yes. So we remember what that was like. It was unbelievable. And even, you know, later on with Danny Briere, it wasn't bad then either with Chris Marty Barron and Chris Drury. Yeah. yeah. Great teams. Ryan Miller. Oh. I remember thinking that was unfair. How it did was, they have how did they have Hoshik and they go to yeah. Huron and then Miller? It's a little bit Rangers going from Lundquist to Sturkin. Yeah. Which is maybe even a juiced up version of that, but a Hoshik mm. to Miller. It was just, I don't know, like what, 20 years of you go to Buffalo and can't score? Mm-hmm. And they played that smothering deep. They were the other team. That made hockey boring because the Devils were the team, right? They, they clogged you in the neutral zone. So did the Sabres. You just and they never get any, them. like Mike Pekka. Oh, oh, can't wait to, you just pick up the remote and you go, can't wait to be in a bad mood tonight. Yeah, I'm going to hate just, this. I'm going to hate this. Win or lose, probably lose. I'm going to hate this. They also, it doesn't help that the Leafs didn't friggin' win ever, ever, even when they were good. Mm. Like, didn't they have some ridiculous record against the Sabres? It's, the Sabres always kill the Leafs. Off. And there'd always be, they'd always do that crowd shot at the beginning of the game. Well, oh, lots of Leaf fans in attendance tonight. And that just depression. And they're <laughs> just none of them terrible. are going to leave their seats once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're all Buffalo fans, uh, they got a lot to be happy about. And I don't like the bad teams who win when the season's over thing. But the Sabres did through March and April go 16, 9, and 3. They had mm-hmm. that in their press release with Don Granado. And that's a 102 point pace over a significant amount of games like the games didn't matter but that's a lot to be happy about and i think that you earn your extension for kevin adams uh that was at the end of august early september and then don granado now gets his and then all these players are getting their their money as well there's a there's a really good core to build around there in, in buffalo 